Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here, and I've got another book review for you today. I'm in uh, Barcelona, Spain today. I just finished my uh, my 10 mile run here on the beach. It was a little too hot to <laughs> to run, but I if I made it. I should have went earlier. I need to learn that lesson. I started doing. 10 mile runs now instead of the fives every day because I feel like it'll, uh, it'll be better for uh, for recovery and also for like extending endurance because I wasn't really seeing endurance increasing with five mile runs. I was getting a little bit faster on the times but not really seeing the kind of improvement. Anyway, uh, I've got a book review for you guys today. It's called The Talent Code. It's kind of a short book. I listened to the audio version of the book but I found it to be a really good book that explains like why certain people have you know increased talent like why they have increased ability to be able to do things uh, you know, and they focus on the Brazilian soccer players right how they're you know just have abnormal amounts of really good players that come out of there and uh, you know just uh, some of those kind of things that you see where you see really good players uh, you know, especially grouped up and you know the book went into I basically started off talking about myelin which is something that I've heard about uh, quite a bit if you've read any kind of pop psychology books I'm sure you've you've heard the discussion of uh, you know neurobiology of myelin basically being fat uh, that encases nerve connections to make them faster and that makes a lot of sense right so he was talking about the idea that you know basically you learn by making wrong decisions and then correcting them and then you know he starts off the book showing the example of a good practice session of a, of a young musician and she's like playing this piece and she keeps on stopping when she messes up and retries it and she's paying attention to the errors and fixing each error and then pretty soon it just all comes together uh, so there's a lot of good advice i think in the book like that uh, also talking about the kind of attitude that you have like this idea of a switch basically that almost like a motivation switch and if you've got that that right formula for it which we can't always directly control uh, it can create that motivation that will work will cause that deliberate practice to happen that's required in order to create that myelin which will increase your uh, your throughput in those neural circuits so it will greatly increase your skill that's the way we develop skill is basically by making our circuits fire faster and faster and we've got you know if you do things that are like you know performance based where you're trying to do the same exact thing over and over again those circuits are very uh, linear right they they have a specific path that you're trying to uh, flow down and you're increasing that one path but if it's something like playing soccer where there's a lot of decision trees essentially then uh, it, it branches right and so there's a lot of like little tiny circuits that end up being fired that uh, that have to have you know that myelin to to enhance it so uh, there's a lot of really good tips in there I think if you're trying to get good at something in practice. He also talks about coaching and master coaches and kind of what I got from the book, what it kind of all, all boils down to, which is something that, I forget which other book, I think it was called, yeah, it's called Peak. You can check out the review I did on Peak. That's also a really good book. It might even be better than this one, honestly, because it goes a little bit more into the depth of deliberate practice. Uh, they'll both, you know, complement each other for sure. Uh, but in Peak, he was talking about the specifics of uh, of how, you know, basically knowing the error, right? And that's the thing is like what it comes down to, like I can kind of describe for you is if you want to get really good at something, you have to have the ability to know when you're wrong, right? So feedback mechanism, right? And that's why I think a lot of skills are difficult to get good at is because you don't have a good feedback mechanism, right? You could be practicing the wrong thing. So having a good coach and something where there is a right way to do it, where it's an exact right way, is really good because they can give you that feedback immediately, right? Whereas something that is more intuitive, uh, you don't necessarily need that or that you get the feedback automatically uh, yourself. So, you know, good example of something that doesn't have a good feedback mechanism, in fact, has a broken one, is poker, right? I used to do uh, semi-professional poker and you, you cannot get feedback based on winning or losing. It has to be based on uh, your interpretation of the game and the rules and the odds and the mathematics. Uh, you can't do it, you can't base it on whether you won or lost because you can play perfectly and lose and you can play horribly and win. And so it kind of breaks that feedback mechanism. So there's a lot of instances like that where I think, uh, you know, the hardest thing is like I said, is, is figuring out how can you practice something where you're getting that feedback mechanism. 
So anyway, really good book, talent code, check it out. Uh, the link will be in the cards, it'll also be in the description below. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Talk to you next time, take care.